All right, second to last, Capricorn. Capricorn. What messages do I have for my lovely Capricorn now until September 10th, 2020? Thank you. What are the messages for my Cappy babies? Thank you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus. What are the messages now until September 10th, 2020? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. We're going to clear out this energy. Yes, we is. All right. Capricorn, what is going on? Thank you, babies. Why y'all got so many cards? I'm only pulling one. Okay? Thank you. The star card. Aquarius. Okay? A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So, Capricorn, you guys may be waiting a plane. Um, um, higher perspective. You're needing to look at something in the higher perspective, Capricorn. I'm also getting some of you guys can be taking flights. Or this can be like a plane, like taking flights. Like, I'm catching flights, not feelings, bitch. That's what I'm getting, like, y'all not, y'all, um, heightening ascension, okay? Some of you guys can be heightening self, okay? Or this can be, if you have a, the star card is like the limelight here. So you can have a, uh, Mars, this can be Mars, Mercury. This can also be, because uh, the star card is like your, your um, natal chart. You can have Capricorn, you can have, uh, two to seven, uh, you can, you, I'm stuttering. Someone could be uh, have a speech impediment or stutter or when they get nervous, okay? I definitely feel like if you have any type of Capricorn placement, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, you are in some type of way you're a star. In some type of way you're going to be in the limelight. I'm also getting if you have any type of, um, if you know your natal chart and something is like 17 degrees, okay? 17 degrees Libra, 17 between 1 and 17 degrees of Libra, Libra, 1 and 17 degrees of Aquarius, okay? Uh, I'm getting like a rising because the star is a rising. So some of you guys can be rising stars. Some of you guys can also be um, in the limelight as well, angel. So I'm also getting the 17th can also be significant, okay? Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, I'm also getting Sagittarius. So some of you guys can have this in your chart. If you do, this is like um, some type of like mixture. I'm getting concoction. Like maybe you have a concoction of like a, a star quality. Of someone that's in the limelight this can also be someone that's famous okay so either you're you know someone that's famous you want to be famous or your astral uh your astral placement if you have capricorn and sun moon rising mars mercury venus if you have seven one to 17 degrees in libra or aquarius if you have sagittarius or aries in your chart okay sun moon rising this is like a star quality or something like that because the star is also balanced so uh, Capricorn, I definitely feel like you guys are believing yourself, you're taking your strides, I'm also getting things are coming true the way that it needs to, okay, so I definitely feel like this is for people that have Capricorn in their astral, like, their natal chart, like, the actual placement, that's why I kept saying Mars, Mercury, Venus, okay, because that's action, the star card is, like, action, right, everything I just said, the plane, that's action, that's flight, movement, right, so that's why I'm just keep saying Aries, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going on. Cappies, now until September 10th, 2020. Let's see what's going on for my baby. We're going to clear out this energy. Seven of Cups reverse. Okay, so let's just start with this because it's already popping out. Some of you guys can be making some type of hasty, deci hasty decisions. I'm also getting some of you guys are not thinking clearly. Okay, you guys are maybe going off of your emotions. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to take these. So these are the same cards that came out in the Leo reading. So I definitely feel like Capricorn, you guys can be dealing with a Leo, okay? Or this can be like you're needing the strength to move forward in something or you're needing to dawn, um, hone into that Leo energy, the courage, okay? So please listen to the Leo reading, Capricorn, because you guys may need it, may need that information. Please, please, please. All right, so... I definitely see that you guys can be um, not really thinking clearly when it comes to some things here. I do feel like you guys can be defensive, restless, okay? Because of either some insight, you guys may have gotten some type of, um, you guys can be looking at this video, you guys may have gotten some type of spiritual reading or spiritual uh, help, guidance, okay, of some sort. The high pieces is in reverse, so either you guys are doubtful, you guys can be worried, or you guys can be overly anxious here, over, uh, um, over what some, someone has said is what I'm hearing, okay? The Five of Pentacles reverse, you guys might have a change in finances, the Moon reverse, the Chariot reverse. There's no movement here. I definitely feel like a Pisces, a Cancer is also involved. 
okay? Or a Pisces, a Cancer can be upset here because you're not dealing with them. But I do feel like there's a change in your fortune, a change in your finances as well, Capricorn. I definitely feel like a lot, the high priestess in reverse, a lot of you guys may not be listening to some type of advice that is being given to you and that may cause some type of, uh, it's like some type of secret when it comes to money, okay? The cherry reverse, there's like some type of stagnation here. The ace of wands, it's like you guys may have, it's like sex. So some of you guys were having, were sexing the boss is what I'm getting. You guys can be having some type of like work relationship with the boss. Okay, is what I'm getting. That's some type of secret, or it's like you guys are wanting to move away from a situation like that where you guys are dealing with the boss or the CEO. But I do feel like something has been repeated, Capricorn, or something keeps repeating here. Okay, I do feel like the page, the two pages, I feel like the page of Pentacles, the page of Wands is like you guys are focused on building yourself, building yourself from the ground up. You guys can also be uh, wanting, someone can also be giving you an offer of a new job or an offer of love here, and it's like you guys are trying to figure out. If this person from the past can be trusted, you guys can also be returning to somebody from the past and someone can be looking at you like Capricorn, can you be trusted? Shit. So that's also what I'm hearing because I feel like someone's not listening to advice, but when someone's in a hot seat or in a hot boiling water, that's when they want to come ask for help or by or vice versa. So this can be someone around you or this can be how you are with someone. All right. So that's really, really what I'm getting. Again, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of different signs here, a lot of different energies that you guys can be dealing with. All right, so let me know how now until September 10, 2020 is. I love you guys like I love myself. I share.